Previously on Army Husbands. I signed up for a six tour of duty. You have a family to think about. A husband who loves you. And I love you. But I also love my country. Six times more than you. We gotta discuss books or what? If you love the Army so much, why don't you go? It's because of my condition. My name is Private Bones, and I have good news and bad news about your wife. Your wife was pregnant. I have a son. Bad news is baby POW. Are you not gonna be even? We're gonna go to Canada, we're gonna grab my wife, then we're driving straight to Afghanistan to save my baby. While fleeing the US Army, your wife was killed. She was eaten by a wolf. She thought she befriended. <laughs> Can't make lemonade with these apples. Can you explain it to me again, Mr. B? All right, Johnny. Pangaea was a big mass of land that held all the continents together before they split apart. But I don't get it. All right, let's try it a different way. My wife was a soldier all together, but then a missile landed on top of her, blowing her up into smaller pieces. Ugh, that's awful. So let's say her head rolls over here and becomes America, mm -hmm. and then her leg meat down here is Africa, which would make this big pile of guts over here, Australia. Oh, I get it, Mr. B. Your heart was a Pangea. And now it's broken into pieces of crap. So I'm over it. I moved on. I mean, that's what tough guys do. That's what tough guys do, you know? Oh, she went AWOL. Canada. 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 <laughs> She left me. She left me. She left me. Oh, who cares if she's dead, really? I mean, plenty of guys out there have dead wives, eaten by wolves. Gee, mister, can you just buy some lemonade? You're scaring us. So you ready to ship out? I'm always ready. Well, I packed your duffel and I bought you some extra army undies. Seven tours of duty, Marie. It's never enough. Never, Simon. Not until I'm dancing on the grave of the world's last terrorist. Even if the dance all picked out. One day, I'm gonna prove myself. Prove that I'm a man, just like you. I respect strength, Simon. A deep reserve of hoo when it's most needed. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Oh, there's gonna be a big personnel crate in the yard. It was supposed to be for all my extra guns, but I feel like war is barely a challenge anymore, so. Okay, well, I'll miss you. It's crazy. It's big enough for three grown men and snacks. And it would carry enough oxygen for the 14 hour plane ride to Afghanistan. They wouldn't even inspect it if you put the lid on. All right, see you later. Afghanistan! There's an empty crate! We're gonna go see my baby! We, we need, need guns! Hey, can you mail this package? Thanks. Stay tuned to Lady Time after Army Husbands. At 9.30, it's Menstruation. Followed by Pregnant Husband starring Tom Bergeron. Then at 11, an all new episode of Queefs. I thought we were shaving our heads. You guys nodded yes. No, I was like... Yeah, and I was like... We need to think like army guys. No thank you. I tried out for the army once. It was the worst. I auditioned for the army as well. She's a grand old black, she's a grand old black, and she's grand, and she's grand, and she's grand, and she's grand. I was in the army for a day. I always wanted to be a tough guy. But I have a condition because I absorbed my twin in the womb. I absorbed him damn good. I have two hearts. That's why my emotions are so close to the surface. Because I have double the feelings. All it took was stepping on that one chipmunk. I cried in front of my platoon. Well, guess we landed. Uh, let's get out of here. Lady Dad. So I felt bad about your two wives dying, so I was like, yeah, why don't I let you sneak into a war zone? How do you know where we're going? Well, I saw these terrorists have a white baby during the terrorist pride parade. Hey, that could be 
be your white baby. Okay, here's my plan. Wait till dark, use night vision goggles, slip in on moccasins, get the baby. No, here's my plan. Blow up something, rest is in product. Terrible plan. Well, how about we offer him scholarships to get him out of this self-destructive life cycle? I have an idea. Good news, guys. I'm alive. Bad news, oh, I'm the bad guy. So you're the Al-Qaeda? There's no the Al-Qaeda, they're like McDonald's. I, I bought a franchise. They're misogynists, I kill women, it's a win-win. Wait, you killed our wives? Roger, your wife, she was preggers. We delivered the baby, but then she tried to escape, so then I dropped a missile on her. It looked like lasagna in the wings. It was gross, right guys? <laughs> We're gonna kill you. Oh, Tony, baby. Your wife almost made it to Canada, but then I got her. You said she was eaten by a wolf. Oh, she was. Have you met Wolf? <laughs> He's good, right? You son of a... Damn double heart. <laughs> but why kill our beautiful wives? Hold on, I don't want her to hear this. Baby, I love you. Because I hate military change. They screwed up the armed forces. Nothing personal about your wives, but I kill soldier babes all day. Now I want to shoot you, but I have an Al-Qaeda conference call right now. So I'm gonna leave my henchmen to do it without my supervision, because that's what leadership is. Good luck with dying. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I got you into this. There's nothing tough than dying like this. Roger, can you tell us a history lesson to take our minds off the executions? It's all right. Have you guys ever heard of Pangea? It was a magical continent where everyone was happy, but the Earth hated it. So Earth created plate tectonics to keep us all apart. And that's how all the wars started. It's awful. But you know, when I look at us, I see a new Pangea. It's nauseating. Simon, what the hell are you doing here? Hurry, thank God. Private Bones is killing all the soldier ladies. Yeah, I heard. And I got this whole place rigged with explosives, so problem solved. All right, let's go. We got five minutes. Five minutes? You can't do anything in five minutes. I have a baby to save. I need more time. If you want to delay the wire and you need a mechanic. I'm a mechanic. Plus, I have the least to live for. It's true, he has the least to live for. Guys, this could be our last goodbye. Simon, when you're done with your girlfriends, come on. Remember who we are together. Pangea! First, the crater will fall. Who the hell are you? I am the greatest terrorist of all time, Muhammad! The Muhammad? The one we're not supposed to portray? What? No! Muhammad is like the most popular name in the world. It's like John or Pedro. Oh, so sick of hearing that. Oh, look. Muhammad Jr. found his favorite toy. Kill him. Kill him, son. No, Roger Jr. I'm your dad. Shoot him. He's the terrorist. Kill him. Fulfill your destiny, son. I, I created you with your mom. I had sex with her. I'm your father. Do it. Come to the dark side of the room. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Does your wife have a sister? I'd like that meal again. Yeah, she does. She's a real nice lady. Oh, good thing you guys are getting along. In-laws can be tricky. We talk every night. Sometimes we see movies. Oh, seems like you guys are developing feelings. <laughs> I may be conflicted. You sure you want to fight me? I'm the toughest guy in Afghanistan. Well, I'm the toughest guy in my book club. Talk about it. That's good, because you can shoot him. I love you and I hate you. Soldier guys look bad. 
And it makes me sick! I hope you die from it. This is fun. You were first there? You're surrounded. Why don't you just give up? Never! Join us, Roger. The pay isn't great, but the perks are worth it! <laughs> Never! I'm an army husband, like my father before me. So I'm only gonna tell you this once. Please don't kill me! Too late, army husband! <laughs> Jesus! I mean, Allah. My baby boy! You saved me! Lights out, tough guy. <laughs> Wolf! No way! You should be dead! I shot you through the heart! One of them. Well, I won't make that same weird mistake again! You may help muscle me. You may hit harder. Take more pain. But there's one muscle. <laughs> stronger than all the rest. And that's the brain. That's not a muscle. Wolf! What time does your mail get here? Freedom. Delivered. Army used to be so great. Are you a man? Just men armed with nothing but mustard gas and mantra. 24 hour marathon, locker room talk, straight gas. I'm bringing that back one lady murder at a time. I did it. Oh man. You did it, Simon. You're a real man now. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go, you guys. We gotta get to the chopper. Oh, Marie, go on, go on. We'll be right there. Oh. Oh. I'm bleeding everywhere, guys. Oh, I think I'm dying. Don't you worry, guys. Once you get back, they're gonna have a hero's welcome with a hero parade, and we'll watch a hero's marathon. Oh, I don't want to go to hell. You do heroes cry? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. You are now officially men.